Paul's Pizza Reviews. <sighs> what up, Pizza Posse? Back for another episode of Paul's Pizza Reviews. Today, we're going to be doing Capello's um, Pepperoni. This is almond crust, uh, so grain-free, gluten-free, um, Again, for all you gluteinites out there, uh, this might be for you. Um, one thing I do notice um, off the bat is that the pepperoni makes this a tad bit greasy, um, a little bit soupy for me. Um, but let's see how it goes. It's a... Uh, it's... N it's a little uh, falling apart, um, not crispy at all. Ow! Uh, it's a little bit of a mess, to be quite honest with you. I mean, if you can't have gluten, grains for whatever reason, I guess it's worth a shot. Not great, Bob. Um, I think it's on the trash side of these um, grain-free and gluten-free pizzas that I've been having um, on the lower scale, definitely. Maybe it was a little bit tighter. Um, maybe a little bit better, but I don't think it would really matter too much. I think the taste in general is not great. Um, not a fan of the crust. I've had almond flour crust before. I made almond flour crust before. Not really a fan. Um, I don't like the taste of it. I don't really like the texture of it. Kind of hard to describe um, texture wise, but it's just, it's not for me. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan overall. Okay, I'm gonna hit this one with a 2.1. Um, it's unfortunate I have to do this, but that's the score. Not a fan. Um, I think there are better grain-free and gluten-free options out there for you. I'm not a fan of this one. I um, think it's a little bit pricey, which is not great because it's not too big either. I would stay away from this if I were you. Um, if you like almond crust, maybe it's worth a shot, but I don't... Overall, I think it was pretty trash pizza. Until next time. Paul's Pizza Reviews.